so Apple have introduced a whole load of new products last year. However, one product that keeps being talked about and then disappearing again is the Apple Car or the iCar. Well, today I want to talk to you about, is it happening? Will we get an Apple Car or iCar and what will be the Apple Car release date and price? So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Last year got a release of a whole load of new iPads, iPhones and also the start of the journey of the new Apple Silicon Max. However, one product or one item we keep hearing about from Apple or the possibility it will be made from Apple is the Apple Car or the iCar. So I want to tell you everything we know so far about the Apple Car. But first, I would love to know from you, do you own any Apple products at the moment and what ones do you have? Also, are you planning on buying any new Apple items in the next year? If so, let me know below. And also, if Apple did bring out an Apple car, would you be one of the ones to buy it straight away? Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button at the same time. Cheers! So what do we know about the Apple car? Well, let's do a bit of a history lesson here of where we've got to so far. Apple's interest in the car dates back to before the actual original iPhone, and Apple executives discussed building a car before the iPhone was even announced. As you probably can guess, it was Steve Jobs who considered developing an Apple car, and he even met with manufacturers of the lightweight, inexpensive V vehicle in 2010. It is said that due to Steve's health not going in the right direction, also with the success of the original iPhone, he ultimately decides to shelve the car project and spend more time developing the iPhone and also the new iPad range at that time. It wasn't until 2015 that the car project started up again and the world got its first details of the Apple car leaking out at the beginning of that year. One of the first leaks was from an Apple employee who emailed Business Insider suggesting that Apple was working on a project that would give Tesla a run for its money. The source said that Tesla employees were jumping ship to work on a project at Apple that was too exciting to pass up. This then got us very excited that Apple were working on its own car project again. Then soon after this, another leak came from the Financial Times learned that Apple was recruiting automotive technology and vehicle design experts from around the world to work on a top secret research lab. The article highlighted Apple's hiring of a former Mercedes-Benz research and develop exec as one of those employees. As you can imagine, I can go on and say there were loads of leaks and loads of recruitments from lots of different automobile companies over the next few years, confirming more and more Apple were working on the Apple car. However, one leak I do want to point out is from none other than reliable Apple analyst Minchi Ku, who has said that Apple is working on Apple Car and it will launch between 2023 and 2025, and he announced this back in 2018. If you know anything about Minchi Ku, he's a very reliable leaker when it comes to Apple products, and he has had a reputation of 90% of his predictions and leaks being true. Soon after its leak in 2018, Apple got permission to do some of its own testing on vehicles on the streets of California. Then soon after that, Tim Cook even announced they were working and focusing on more autonomous products that would suggest a driverless car system. In 2019, we found out for sure that Apple is still keen on autonomous movement because it brought Drive.ai, a startup that has been running a pilot program of autonomous vehicles in Texas. The company ceased operation, but Apple has taken over the vehicles and its engineers for its own. Also, according to the analyst Morgan Stanley, Apple will spend nearly $19 billion on research and development in 2020, equating to around a fifth of the total research and development spend across the whole auto industry, so that's around $100 billion. That is very intriguing indeed for Apple to do such an investment. I think we can see from the history and the leaks and also that spend, it is safe to say that Apple are working on a car project.
So moving on to what the car will actually be able to do, well straight away as you can imagine from all this research the car will be able to drive itself and this basically means it is a rival to top companies like Tesla who are wanting a self driving car. It would be no surprise for Apple to put their foot into this market as it's going to be an area changing over the next 10 to 15 years switching primarily to clean electric cars. This is an area that Apple are really focusing their attention on at the moment. It will again be a great opportunity to show how environmentally friendly they are with all of their products. Someone recently even said if Apple did bring out an electric car, there probably wouldn't be a charger inside the car as they removed it for their iPhone products. So going forward, why not for the car? So before we go further on into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who participates on this channel in leaving comments, pressing the like button and just getting involved. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making basically videos like this. So because of this, I'm going to be giving away these. These are some AirPod Pros and they're brand new and I'm going to be giving them to one lucky subscriber in the near future when we hit 130,000 subscribers. Now from you guys what I'd love to know is, is what Apple products are you planning on buying this year in 2021 or maybe other technology that you might be getting? Let me know in the comments below and when we get over 130,000 subscribers I'll be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell to find out if you will be that lucky subscriber. For the actual design of the car and features inside, apart from the car being electric and also being able to drive itself and running on Apple's own software, not a lot is known of what type of car Apple are planning on making. However, here are my own personal thoughts. I believe for design wise Apple will probably create an initial standard car to begin with and this will probably be a car that can transport up to 5 people inside. For looks wise I can't imagine a sports car or for example like a Tesla's Roadster or BMW i8 design, however I believe the car would look more futuristic, more of a design of a Volkswagen ID3 or more like a Tesla design. For the actual software I'm sure Apple would be equipping the car with multiple features that would integrate highly with iOS and iPadOS where you can just bring your iPhone or your iPads into the car and everything just syncs together with its own ecosystem. This is something that Apple love to do with all of their products. Of course as already been seen the car is most likely to be driverless so you'll be asking questions to Siri to get your directions or even to get you to your destination. You would also be asking Siri to change features or settings within your car as well. I believe we'd also get a main interface screen just like we do get on modern cars right now or like on a Tesla with their huge interface screen. I believe the main interface screen will be an enhanced version of the CarPlay system that we have right now. As we saw earlier this year with iOS 14, the ability to have a keyless car is now possible and that was demoed with the brand new BMW 5 Series. This technology will easily be adapted to the new Apple car. So just quickly then, that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in the chance to get your hands on that iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue, I would love to know from you right now what Apple products you own right now and what are you planning on buying in the next year. Let me know in the comments below and when we get over 100,000 subscribers, and that is not long now, I will be announcing who the winner will be for the iPhone 12 Pro. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell to find out if you'll be the lucky winner. Back to the car, we'd expect that Apple would put in one of their own designed electric engines into the Apple car and also this would be controlled by an Apple silicon chipset to control the amount of electricity running into the engine. For battery life or for range amount, we'd expect that Apple to be providing a comfortable 200 plus mile range from a battery under multiple driving conditions. 
If the Apple card did sell really well, it is believed that other models would also be introduced at a later date. Each model then would probably be refreshed every four to five years. Now we've got to remember that Apple liked to update their current products every 24 months or less in a lot of cases, just like the iPhone and certain iPad models. But to refresh a car every 18 months or even two years would not be worth the investment. So Apple would have to bring out a car just like other car companies with a gap in between time between each model refresh. For price wise we expect Apple to keep in line with its competition and this would now be the likes of Tesla. The current Model 3 from Tesla starts at $35,000 so expect a similar price range for Apple's first standard car. So, are you excited about the new Apple car and would you save up and purchase one after its release? Let me know if this is something you would consider in the comments below. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the Apple car at this stage. If we do get any more news, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Till next time guys, see ya.